For those living the high life, being able to get anywhere you want, whenever you want, is more than a necessity. It's a lifestyle. And as a convenient, comfortable and fast means of transportation, private jets are an inseparable part of the luxury lifestyle. In this video, we will see exactly what it feels like to fly one of these impressive jets using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, one of the most realistic and immersive flight simulators. We will be flying the Cessna Citation CJ-4, a state-of-the-art light aircraft designed specifically for high-end travelers. Its total price is around $9 million, with a total operating cost of $2,000 per hour. Its cabin features room for 10 passengers, trackable seats, individual climate control, and high-definition entertainment. In command of this flight is Fiona Volp, the owner of this aircraft. This aircraft is equipped with advanced and intuitive avionics suit and can even be flown single pilot. In order to start up the aircraft, we turn the battery on and switch the avionics to dispatch mode until we start the engines. After that, we can proceed to program the flight management computer, which is very similar to Boeing aircraft. Here we are entering our position, departure and arrival data, entering our flight route, takeoff data, and radio frequencies. In this video, we will be flying from Miami International Airport to Key West. In addition to luxury hotels that cater to guests with sophisticated taste and needs, Miami also offers breathtaking beaches, exclusive restaurants, yachting, and wild parties in one of its many nightclubs. Miami also has a rich art scene that inevitably attracts tourists. In this video, we will be using runway 08 right. After taking off, we will climb to 520 feet, then make right turn direct Victor Kilo Zulu VOR, and after that, follow the route to M Nate Waypoint. Our cruise altitude will be 24,000 feet, and the flight will last for just 40 minutes. After setting up the FMC, we are ready to start the engines. Now we can switch avionics to on and finish startup process by setting the barometric pressure, turning on flight director and LNAV mode, entering initial heading, which is 092, and initial altitude 5,000 feet. Ready for takeoff? Aircraft at 1,500. Takeoff power set. Checked. Giant 55 heavy contact with my center at 1355. 70 knots. Checked. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Climb power set. Checked. American 984 heavy, the tower advised, uh, you can expect the... Uh, Autopilot is on. As we have just taken off, we are flying over downtown Miami, the urban city center housing Miami's central business district. Downtown Miami is known for its impressive skyscrapers that make up its main urban districts. Below us, near downtown Miami, are also Virginia Key, a barrier island, and Virginia Key Beach Park, which history dates back to the civil rights movement. Our flight 
takes us further towards Florida Keys over the overseas highway. The overseas highway stretches for 170 kilometers and connects Miami and Key West. While a drive on this highway is certainly a special experience, it takes about four hours to drive directly from Miami to Key West, while a plane ride only takes about 30 minutes. As we fly over Florida Keys, we can see all those beautiful Coral Cay Islands with rich flora and fauna, and enjoy incredible views of the ocean. This southernmost part of the continental United States is a well-known vacation destination and a major center for cultural and recreational tourism. Between bridges, sandy beaches, and the highway itself, our view over Florida Keys really is a sight to behold. As we are near Key West, the westernmost inhabited island of Florida Keys, we can see the surrounding islands with which it forms the city of Key West. The island of Key West is one of Florida's favorite travel destinations. Its tropical climate often attracts lovers of various water activities. Its museums allow tourists to experience the Keys' history and culture, and its many clubs offer something for everyone who appreciates a fun night out. As we prepare for touchdown, we can also see the Naval Air Station Key West on the island next to the airport. It is a training facility for air-to-air -air combat fighter aircraft of all military services. We will perform a non-precision RNAV approach and landing on runway 09 in Key West Airport. We will descend to 1,500 feet at Atenal, make a left turn to fly runway heading, which is 093, and capture the glide path. Descending to 1,500 feet. 1,500 set. Flaps 15. Speed checked. Flaps 15. Arming approach mode. Gear down. Flaps 35. Speed checked. Flaps 35. Glide path captured. Checked. Minimum. Continue. Seventy knots. 